My name is Ailey Child and I'm a 400 metre hurdler for Great Britain and Scotland and I'm here to talk to you about the Inspire Aspire programme that you've all been taking part in at school. I was about nine years old when I first started athletics and I tried a bit of everything and really it was because I loved athletics, I loved sport, I loved taking part in it. But since I've got a little bit older and it's become my full time job, I've really had to be committed to, to the job that I do now. Since moving down here, um, I've become the European champion at my event, 400 meter hurdles. Some of the top skills I've had to use to, to get the silver medal in Glasgow was hard work, you know, not just in the training that I do, but in you know the, the things that I eat, my diet, the recovery that I get, everything that I do is geared towards my athletics and, and that goal of, of going out and competing and doing well. The second big thing I would say that I've had to, to be during my career is be patient. You know, you've got to stick in, you'll have those days where things don't go well, you'll have those days where you don't run well, you'll get beat, but you know, you just look at the bigger picture and you keep striving for that, you keep working hard and you just be patient and then eventually when it comes, you know, all that hard work that you've done, all that, that effort and time you've put into it, you know, it all comes together in that, that moment. The next thing I would say as well is just, there has to be passion there, there has to be a real passion for what you do. I mean, I love what I do, I love doing athletics, I love training and I wouldn't do it if I, if I didn't love it and, and that's a big thing, you need to be really passionate about what it is you're doing because if you're not passionate you just can't give that you know, 100% uh, towards what it is you want to do. So yeah, hard work, patience and passion I would say are the three big things to help you succeed. I think the big thing to do next after you've done the Inspire to Aspire programme is now to set little goals for yourself, you know, what is it you know, that you want to do, what do you want to do to to change who you are or to, to you know, be a better person and you start setting little goals and it's not, it's not a huge goal, you know, it's a little goal that's achievable but it's a challenge. All of a sudden all these goals make that big target and I, I, I got my dream, I got to go to the Olympics but it's about being, being organised, planning your journey and just setting these little goals that are realistic that you can achieve but you need to work hard to, to get to them as well. I've had a look at some of these uh, programs that you've done here and the projects that you've done and they've really inspired me. I mean, you've all put down your own characteristics, your own strengths, people that have inspired you and by reading these, they've inspired me too. You know, don't just forget about these after you've done them. You've put so much hard work into them and really remember them and really refer to them and use these, you know, in your life, use these to, to build on your goals and build on your dreams and make things better and yeah, just well done for all the hard work that you've done because I've been really inspired by what you've done in these programs.